how much do you know about efforts that go into cultivating rice? We've been talking about, you know, getting these warehouses and others to be able to store rice. Peter Kwadato tracks the journey of a Navrongo-based rice farmer, Abdul Kadri Mohammed, and has filed this particular report. The nature of Ghana's land encourages rice farming in many regions. However, our focus for this piece is on the Bilsa South District of the Upper East Region, one of the troubled rice cultivation areas. Rice farming is undertaken on a large scale in this part of the country. Rice cultivation is widespread at the Wiesi, So, Gubana, Yagaba and Belembisi Valleys. And 45-year-old Abdul Kadri Mohammed is one of the many Ghanaians dedicated to serving the country through rice cultivation. He relocated from Lambusi in the Upper West Region to settle at Navrongo as a cattle farmer. He was, however, compelled under challenging circumstances to offload the cattle three years ago to go into rice cultivation. Abdul Kadri Mohammed currently has 475 acres of rice field at Riesi, 300 acres at So, and 200 acres at Kubana. He owns five tractors, four combined harvesters, two rice broadcasters, and two boom sprayers. We've invested a lot in terms of fertilizer, in terms of a, a tractor plowing, in terms of seed and whatever. From Navrongo to Fumbisi, where Abdul Kadri Mohammed and many of his colleague rice farmers reside, is 61.9 kilometers, about one hour, 17 minutes drive, or 12 hours, 25 minutes walk away. That was not all. The closest rice valley, Belembisi, is about 15 kilometers away from Fumbisi, bringing the total distance to be covered from Navrongo to the farm to 76.9 kilometers. And the nature of the roads leading to the farms are nothing to write home about. The dust alone would discourage you from the idea. But women with children on their backs undertake this journey in order to help provide food on the table of Ghanaians. Accidents are also a common place. Most of the farmers ride motorbikes on the bumpy and dusty roads to and fro the farm each day. At best, they have to find a place to lodge in the farms for a week or two before returning home. This explained why the farmers refuse to understand that their toils are not being recognized by the state. Uh, a major farmer, I don't know you, if not today. So if we didn't do that, would we get to an So that is all that we need. The buyers are buying three bags for two bags. So for instance, as it is now, a bag of rice is 200 Ghana cities in the valley here. So somebody will come and buy three bags. Instead of paying 600 Ghana cities, they pay 400 Ghana cities. So we, those who have refused totally to sell to them, up to date, we are battling with our paddy rice. So somebody like me, I have to cut my rice all the way from Wesi, from So, to send it to Navrongo, to go and look for a warehouse and keep it. That is the reality. Look at the rice over there, I'm drying it myself. I want to go and keep it. Where am I going to keep it? And if I'm going to have another 4,000 bags alone, then another person having 4,000 this way. Also, another problem is also the, the drying floors. If you were here last week, you could see that all the roads, there was the police all the roads, because the rice was getting rotten. So you will find a way to dry your rice, and there was no platform to, to, uh, to dry the rice. So that is also another problem which we face here. District Chief Executive for Bilsa South, Sylvan Dauda Dana, hopes ongoing road projects in the area will address the challenges. From Navrongo to Chuchulaga coming, you will notice that the contractor is on site working. These are all measures government is putting in place to make sure that the food we get from this part of the country gets a smoother exit out of the, the district. And so government is having an all-inclusive uh, approach to solving the farmer situation in this district.